Shortel a few years ago bought a company called M5, which is what we'd probably consider one of the more white glove, higher end service, higher end hosted phone system platforms out of New York. And they've uh, we we've been impatient um, to, to for Shortel to get to where they're at today, but there was just a lot of work to be done, um, completely rewriting all of the code on the Shortel product and, and merging the two. So. What's going to come out is going to be a, a few different, three different um, rollout options, similar to what you have today, all on site. That would be on site, short tail switches, voice switches, which obviously can now be virtualized or they can still reside on the appliance. They actually, short tail is coming out with some new higher capacity appliance based short tail switches, short gear switches. Um, and then contact center would be the, the enterprise contact center locally running either on a dedicated server or in a virtual environment. Same with mobility. Mobility has traditionally been an appliance space and now can also be virtualized along with a conference bridge. And of course your, your PSTA and your public switch telephone network, your dial tone would be plugged in locally, whether that's SIP, PRI, analog. Um, if you are on a side note deciding to go SIP, please contact us and uh, work through that with us when it comes to session border controllers and carriers, et cetera. That was a side note. Or the all cloud deployment, which you can buy now, which looks very unlike what you've ever seen with Shortel. Different, de it's the older M5 desktop tool, the older M5 um, admin consoles and things like that. That's changing quickly. Um, and so in that case, you could put everything in the cloud. Um, regardless of if you were to go all on site or all in the cloud with Shortel Connect, it's all the same code, right? So it's the same desktop tool, it's the same user interface, the same mobility, it's the same technology, it's a common code uh, across both uh, deployment options. Of course, if you had an all-cloud option, essentially, you would we would deliver IP handsets, um, and generally the 400 IP handsets, you can repurpose some of the, the Cisco IP handsets, and those would connect back across either a public internet connection, where maybe for a few phone office, we would be okay with, but we generally recommend a dedicated connection into the short haul data centers over um, an MPLS connection with quality service and have it a, a, be a fully managed connection. Um, but in that case, P PSTN's in the cloud. You port your numbers over to Shortel. Um, they they control all of that, and now you're on a fully month-to-month -month, um, uh, cloud or hosted model. But then this is what I'm the most excited about as a hybrid, right? Because regardless of what Kool, what, what Kool-Aid seminar you go to, you know, is, is, it, is everything going cloud? Is everything going premise? You know, where are we at? Well, it really ma it, it, it varies by the organization, right? I always tell my customers it's, it's kind of a white canvas. Are you a larger centralized organization where you have mission critical applications like contact center or scheduling if you're a hospital or it's your money maker through a call center? Um, do you have a more centralized IT staff? Are you distributed out? Do you have a lot of small offices um, that have just a few people in them? Are you growing quickly? Are you seasonal? Um, how, do you, how are you used to consuming technology? Is it more CapEx? Is it OpEx? Um, and there's a, there's a slew of, of scenarios that would either fit you into one of, one of the categories or possibly both. Well, Travis, we have a larger uh, headquarters office with two large regional offices with IT personnel, but then we have a lot of smaller ops, small mortgage offices, for example. We do a lot in the finance industry. Um, and so with a hybrid product, you can mix and match, which is going to be really exciting. I can have premise-based um, equipment, but per perhaps I roll out remote sites um, under Shortel's, what they call it Sky, Shortel Sky option, which is their cloud option. But it's a common look and feel between the, the users. They're used to using the same communicator application. They're used to using, um, if you're running contact center, it's, it's similar, right? So um, some of the other things that are coming out with Connect across all the platforms is a brand new communicator. So no longer are you going to have to be stuck with a Mac client that's, uh, the features are watered down. It's going to be a common Mac or a common client, whether a PC or Mac across the board. Um, we have some screenshots on another slide. A very beautiful web-based ECC um, client. Um, so, in that case, you can pick and choose, or perhaps I want to have uh, the core of my voice switches and my dial tone on site, but maybe I want to start consuming some other UC applications in the cloud, like mobility or um, 
some of the other applications that Shortel has that are going to be introducing to those of you who are used to the premise side, like Scribe, which is a, um, uh, a speech-to-text service for voicemail transcription or a cloud-based fax server option. Um, or maybe, like I said, you want to you want to consume mobility in the cloud. So it's going to be it's going to be pretty uh, it's going to be pretty customizable. I can tell you though the first some of the first iterations of the Connect product, from what I've seen, um, there will be some caveats. One of the ones, you know, shared presence across a, a premise and a cloud user, not so much. Yes, they can use the same. They can four digit dial each other, but that's about it. Um, how does the management happen? There's going to be director, which is the management portal on-prem, and then there's going to be another, uh, the sky portal, which is managing your your your, your cloud users. So there's, it's not going to be fully integrated, but this is the this is the step one. And I know a lot of our customers have been excited to get, hey, I want four-digit dialing. It's really all I need right now, um, and that that's one step closer to this pure uh, hybrid model. And that's where that's where we see us playing in the fat middle. And Inflow is a is a Sky enabled partner, and we've um, been rolling out some 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 of the more native Sky solutions for some of our customers, and and so we have a pretty good experience on the pros and cons of that that we'd be happy to share with you and, and talk you through that. So 